everybody, Chris and Amber here. Welcome back to another episode of Woodmere Estate Revival. Down at the house today, working on Reed's room. And what are we getting into, honey? Crown molding. Crown molding, nice. It is, after all, a uh, two-person job. At least it is with some of these big uh, pieces that we have to work with. Uh, we have some that are 14, 16 feet long. And uh, it does take an extra set of hands to handle those, doesn't it, babe? Yeah, sometimes we need a third person, too. Sometimes a third <laughs> hand, a fourth set of hands. But uh, anyways... We've got uh, two more stretches to go here in Reed's room, and then we'll have the crown knocked out. And then I've got to finish uh, casing his uh, windows and the inside of the door. And then I've got to case the closet opening to get ready for our sliding doors. All kinds of stuff going on, don't we? Yes. But it's great to see some progress. You want to take a quick tour of the house before we get started, hon? Yeah, that'd be great. All right, let's do that. All right, so Amber's posing. Hey, hon. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. So we got uh, the last time we were here, we got these walls done with our crown. It looks really good. And we've got our blocking in place to get the crown done on this side. And I finished up last time by getting this window cased. Still got to do this one over here. And then obviously we've got to finish the crown across the top of the windows. Over here in the bathroom, we've had lots of progress. Our friend Lawrence has been here working on tile. Can't quite see how gorgeous that penny tile is because it's covered up with uh, construction cardboard there. You can kind of sneak a peek at it over here next to the, the wall. And then you can really see it on back wall of the shower. Ta-da! Looking fantastic. Love that penny tile, hon. Good, good choice. Thank you. It looks really good. Sorry. Lawrence was happy. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, not uh -huh. falling off the wall. <laughs> Got our soup niche there with the uh, penny tile again in the back. And then uh, that beautiful subway tile. Excellent choice, honey. Thank you. That really looks nice. And then uh, over here will be subway again. Lawrence has already got his marks on the wall where he's going to put the subway uh, starting on Monday. Everything's mudded in, waterproof. Got the mud ring, the Schluter mud ring around the uh, faucet opening there. So uh, we've been spending a lot of money on Schluter, haven't we, honey? Yes. We should be on their uh, Christmas card list for we sure. Need, we need stock. We should have stock in Schluter. But uh, it's a good product, and it really does help keep things waterproof and make your tile jobs last and last. So it's uh, money well spent. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's Reed's bathroom. Where do you want to go next? Uh, laundry room. Laundry room sounds good. We've had a lot of, lot of time spent in the laundry room, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Got your beautiful marble uh, ceramic tile there. Love that hexagonal pattern. Really looks nice. I'm glad we laid it down to that random pattern. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Almost makes it look like marble parquet. And the cabinets are looking fantastic. Amber did such a nice job refinishing those. Got that beautiful green paint. Mm -hmm. They were kind of a tattered looking uh, stained finish before and Amber sanded them all down and put that nice oil-based enamel on there. It'll last and last. And we're building out some shelves here in the center. We're going to use some leftover pieces of our butcher block to make our shelves. Kind of a neat idea, honey. Thank you. Yeah, it's great. About reusing uh, what we have. That's right. So we had to buy an extra long piece here. We bought more than we needed. So we're going to take the extra section from the end, turn it into shelves. That'd be kind of a neat way to repurpose that. Washer and dryer goes here. Still got to finish casing out the uh, the hookup there for the dryer. Got to do all the wiring in here. The electrical shoe mold. Yeah, we got to put our shoe mold down. I think that's about it. And then I need to go back over and uh, caulk. Yeah, we got to caulk. caulk. We got to fill all the nail good. holes. Do one more. Got our sliders done. That looks really good. Managed to screw the uh, bottom support in without cracking the tile, so that was awesome. These are the original sliders, so it was really cool to be able to reuse those. They look great since you painted them, honey. Thank you. Nice job. As you guys remember, the, none of this stuff is here. We had to rip it all out, so it's pretty amazing how well it's come together. All right, where to next? Uh, guest, room? guest room. All right. Guest room, we got the floors down in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. We've got that down. And then uh, nothing has been done yet on the shower surround. That's next up, I think, after Reed's bathroom. So they're 
there's a sample of the floor tile. Put down. It's gorgeous. You can kind of see, see it peeking around the uh, edge of the mm -hmm. protective paper there. Then you've got and a mosaic. A mosaic. We're doing a big band in the center. Okay. And then we're doing this subway tile, which coordinates with this. It's yeah, the same. Nice. Yeah. That looked really good, huh? Yeah. And again, we're using some more Schluter edge. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I haven't used a whole lot of that, but um, using a light gray that coordinates with the grout color. Yeah, that looked really nice. So. Excellent. Okay, moving right along. We're gonna go to uh, Grant's room next. Yeah. Crowns up. Crowns up in here. Yeah, that was fun. Turned out really nice, so. Still gotta do the uh, casing. Case out his door opening, case the windows. Okay. Yeah, the floor tile turned out great. It did. We had a couple pieces we needed to redo. They were a little high, so we'll come in next week, Lauren. So we'll clean this up and then grout. Finish grouting. Yeah. Yep. We'll be ready for uh, the wall tile to go up. Yeah. It's gonna be a neat, uh, neat bathroom. Yeah. Um, with one of those uh, tubular skylights in here. Provides lots of natural light. And we're digging out a piece of the uh, tile there. The tile, we're doing a, a band of this. It's a denim look tile. Very cool. So a band of that and then it's just um, some light gray subway. Yeah, that'll look great. I hope so. <laughs> Grant approves. All right, anything going on in the master? Uh, not really. Mm. I think the uh, floor tile is probably going down next week. Looks like everything's kind of staged in here. Yeah. So I got the uh, curdy shower pan in there. It's just laid in there right now. And it's then... kind of sitting in there. Yep. Got some tape on the wall marking where your picture frame and tile is going to go. Mm -hmm. so that's going to look really nice. Thank you. Beautiful view of the pool. <laughs> Can't wait till it warms up to get that cover off, get her back in operation. Looking forward to getting the uh, heater hooked up so we can enjoy it a little more this year. So we've been uh, trimming out, we got the doors hung. Not uh, no crown or anything done here yet. No. Anything new downstairs? No, I don't think so. No, that's about it. Okay. We do have the bonus room bathroom. Bonus room bathroom. Yeah, we can check that out later. All right. Very good. So we're going to get started on Reed's crown, and we'll update you guys in a little bit. All right. So we got the next piece up on the wall here. Looks pretty good. And so we got our next piece to go up above the windows here. We got it laid out, already got it uh, cut and coped. We didn't have any that was gonna be long enough to go end to end. So we're doing two pieces, right, Deb? Mm -hmm. And we're doing an overlapping joint down on this other end. And the overlapping joint will allow us to tuck the next piece in behind it. And that'll keep it uh, in there nice and tight rather than doing a butt joint, you know, where you just cut the two off square, which would allow it to move, you know, fore and aft and look bad. You got overlapping joint and then we got a coat joint on this end. So we're gonna get it uh, put up against the wall. Already got all the studs and the joist mark there. So we can go ahead and get her nailed in place. All right, so there's the last piece. We gotta go into Reed's room. Dad's here with me now. Give me a hand. Hey, Dad. Good afternoon. How's it going? Great. Appreciate your help. Ask me in about an hour. Yeah, that's right. So we just got that corner down there fitted and uh, it took a little uh, finagling, didn't it? Yes, sir. Had to do some convincing with the uh, Dremel tool there. Considering the shape of the corner, it looks good. Yeah, the corner was a little sky wampus. So now we've got our overlap joint here and then we'll have to do a uh, inside cope here. 
So we're gonna go downstairs and cut us a piece, leave us a little extra length there, that way we can kind of fiddle with it and uh, get that overlap fit nice and tight. That'll be the last piece. Looking forward to getting read-themed. All crowned out. Okay, so we got the last piece of crown up in Reed's room. And the cope joint turned out pretty good. And the overlap joint turned out great. So now we've moved on to the window. We had to massage the drywall down flush with the uh, edge of the window jam. Since it was standing proud, our, our trim wouldn't have gone on there and it would look bad. So we uh, beat it down with a variety of hammers. Got that flush, and then uh, then we headed downstairs and cut our casing. It's got it laid out on the floor here. And we did a compound cut on it to relieve the front a little bit so that when it goes together, it should give us a nice tight uh, joint. We're gonna go ahead and glue it together using the uh, 2P10 super glue with the activator. That way everything is assembled, and then we'll put it up there in one unit and get it nailed in place and it should keep our joints nice and tight, in theory. All right, so we got the casing up on Reed's window. Dad just had to take off. So I'm gonna put the uh, apron on underneath. Just got done uh, cutting it and cutting the little end pieces that go on the end there. The great thing about this uh, two-part super glue is that um, you can cut little pieces like this and don't have to worry about using a brad nail or anything to try to nail them on there or regular wood glue and clamping uh, with that activator. This stuff just really sets up quickly. You gotta be good with your aim, otherwise, well, you've screwed it up and you're gonna have to redo it. But other than that, I like it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, piece fitted underneath the window here. The apron covers up the bottom of the window jam. And you can see the uh, cleats on the bottom there. Those are what the uh, stool nails into. And so our apron covers up this gap like so. And we'll get it nailed in place and gives it a very nice finished look across there. Really just caps it off nicely, just like the, uh, the one next to it here. So I'm gonna get that nailed up and then Reed's windows will be done. All right, with that piece of stool nailed in place, the windows in Reed's room are officially done. So next I'm gonna move on to his door and go ahead and get some casing put up on it. After that's done, I've gotta put the case opening in the closet, get ready for his folding doors. Again, we're gonna wait on this big boy here uh, until the tile's completely done in here. I've also gotta get in here and case this window in the bathroom. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on his door over here. So I'm gonna get some pieces cut and get them nailed up. All right, there we go. We got the uh, casing up around the inside of Reed's door. Man, it really makes such a difference to get that door casing up. It really finishes the space, makes it look so nice. Between that and the crown, all the way around the room. And now the window casing around both windows. This place is really coming together. Cannot wait to see the hardwoods go down in here and get the baseboards and everything down. It's, it's gonna make such an incredible difference, not to mention getting this big uh, door unit in over there in that, uh, that bathroom. We're gonna have that tile done soon. So I'm really excited. We're gonna be able to set that door soon, get that bad boy in place. And then I'll go ahead and come in here and once the tile's done, go ahead and set the vanity, the toilet, trim it out. It's gonna look really, really, really good. All right, so that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. I've got uh, business dinner to go to this evening, so uh, we gotta quit a little early. It's light out, which is strange, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get wrapped up here, get to the house, shower, and uh, get to dinner. But we'll be back down here tomorrow to knock out some more of this trim project. Amber will be back. I think my dad's going to come back over and give us another hand. So uh, we're going to keep trucking on this stuff. See you guys then.